Hello everyone. Now in this lecture we will know about the again next concept that one is uh, a type of schedules. In previous lecture we will go with the concept of a schedule. Schedule means what? That one is a set of transaction which one is execute the set of transaction in a sequence that one is we, we say that that is a schedule. Now the schedule types that one is a type of schedule first is the serial second one is the concurrent that is the serial schedule if only after the commit of the one transaction the other transaction begins then the schedule is said to be a serial schedule for example if we have a transaction one transaction two now and combinedly transaction one and transaction two is the schedule one right now the transaction one execute the steps and committed and after that commission committed of the transaction one the transaction 2 is started right transaction 2 is started then this type of a schedule we can say that is the serial schedule serially it execute the transaction 1 then it execute the transaction 2 and then it execute the transaction 3 and the sequentially that one is the simply the serial schedule is called the serial schedule now this is simple the example of serial schedule that one is a T1 uh, execute the uh, one action or perform the action then uh, T1 second action and then T1 uh, transaction committed and then T2 started then again T2 uh, execute the operations and T2 committed then T3 started this type of a schedule called as a serial schedule okay and that one is simply the first type of a schedule. Now the second that one is uh, or we can say that this one is again the one scenario T1, T2, T3. Then advantage of a serial schedule never create an inconsistency because it maintain the acid properties. Now we have already know about the acid properties that one is uh, atomicity means what either the schedule or it may be a transaction is completed or it may be a abort and it may be the not a change in the particular database. It's a reflect properly in the database or it uh, undo the all the transaction. That's transaction called the atomicity. Consistency, it maintains the consistency under the database. It not uh, come with uh, some inconsistency like a uh, transaction one execute the individually uh, uh, execute some operations on a database then transaction two uh, um, uh, process uh, the transaction two operations that is the consistency then isolation that means simply the uh, individual transaction uh, work the process right that one is uh, uh, isolation and durability it it uh, requires the data or like that that is the acid property which one is maintained by the serial schedule uh, that's why never create an inconsistency uh, why the particular serial schedule is a consistent maintain the consistency uh, that is the simple for example take a example that one is uh, a is the variable then t1 t2 are the two transaction and uh, a value is a 3 now t1 read the a value and modified as a 3 to uh, uh, as a 3 to 5 now the a value is the 5 right now a value is the 5 then again if t1 have some other uh, another uh, operation on the a he uh, actual t1 execute the all the process and then give the control to the t2 in this scenario t1 end up the process and the finally a have the five value that's why whatever the t2 work on the a it considering as a t2 a value is a five then hold the t2 transaction a value is a five hold the t1 transaction its initial value of a is a 3 
means it's run with the consistency about the a value it's not like a t1 uh, access the a and make a value uh, as a phi u and then in between or it may be a t1 read the value uh, or the t2 read the value of a that one is a phi u sorry that one is initially 3 and after that t1 update that a value as a phi u and then again t2 read the value read the value of a that one is a, again a phi u means first read of t2 is a 3 and second read of t2 is a phi u is the inconsistent it's a inconsistent it should be a consistent both reads should be a read as the same value that that one is not going happen with the sequence of the transaction execution and that type of a schedule called as a serial schedule and the particular uh, uh, advantage of a serial schedule never create the inconsistency because it maintain the acid properties disadvantage poor throughput because no sharing of resources like with the, this scenario it sequentially access the a not simultaneously a transaction for example t2 only uh, uh, want to uh, read the value not to a write or it may be a t1 t1 need only a read the value not write it then you can give the simultaneous action or simultaneous access for example t1 want to only a uh, read a value uh, a value right then t2 also want to only read the a value then you can provide the simultaneous access for read to the a variable right there is no need to again the one by one access uh, it, it it is again a time consuming that's why it's a poor throughput because no sharing of resources no sharing of the a value right same thing like uh, as a uh, resources it may be the value or it may be a devices that is simply the serial schedule definition and advantage and disadvantage now the what exact the second type is a concurrent schedule what is a concurrent schedule that one is concurrent schedule we will uh, know about the what is the concurrent schedule in the next lecture thank you